everyone and welcome to CVHP News. I'm Sonora Scott. Happy Labor Day. It's Monday, September 7th. A reminder that many offices are closed today and some city services will be delayed. For more on that, you can go to our website. Well, San Angelo police are still investiga investigating after citizens found a body in the Concho River. SAPD says the call came in around 1.30 p.m. on Friday afternoon. Crime scene investigators and detectives assess the scene and more information is expected to be announced at a later time. Now we go to our Amanda Lozano who has more on the need for volunteers at Sun Recess. We're ready to, to get this therapy going. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit the Concho Valley, Sun Recess Trail stopped offering therapeutic horseback riding classes for school children with physical, mental, and emotional disabilities. It completely took us out of our program. Um, we had to cancel our main event for the entire year and reschedule for later in July. As area school students return to the classroom this fall, Sun Recess will soon start offering the free riding program. Volunteers are a vital part of the writing program, but program director Megan Kirkwood says many of the volunteers are in the high risk category and won't be returning for fall writing classes. Volunteers are huge. They run our program. We need at least 12 volunteers per class and we have four classes a day. Volunteers must be at least 16 years old and be able to carry a small child in case of an emergency. So they walk along the, the side of the horse and, and the child and they hold on to the pad uh, like so and, and assist with the activities and they keep the child on safely. Kirkwood says they'll be taking extra precautions to keep volunteers and riders safe and that they're ready to continue providing equine therapy to Concho Valley children. Horses bring out so much confidence in these kids. We get so many first words. Just getting a simple hand signal or to get them to sign for the first time, walk on or, or whoa, uh, it's, it's truly amazing. Sun Recess will hold a volunteer training next week on Tuesday, September 8th, starting at 10 in the morning. Visit sunrecesswriting.org to fill out volunteer paperwork. For News Connection, I'm Amanda Lozano. Thanks, Amanda. Ending with some happy news now. One family celebrated their official adoption day last week. We were there to capture some of those moments. We got adopted and well, yeah. We had our final adoption after 622 days, and um, this is Jasmine and JC and baby Cade, kind of his own game right now. Um, but we uh, finalized our adoption after them being in foster care, and so now we're a family of four. So um, I was actually moved to San Angelo when I got stationed here um, as a Navy Intel instructor, and they're actually my maternal nieces, and so they're already family. Um, and we had, uh, about two years ago, they moved down here to Texas and they needed somewhere awesome to stay. So, um, of course, I took them and we've been a family ever since um, together. And so we do get to go home and see our family in Kansas. We don't really have any family here, but we go home and see all our other family in Kansas. But we've, I've known these ones since they were teeny, teeny, teeny. <laughs> it's been a long road, you know, uh, being family, I know sometimes people might have the idea, oh, if you take in a family you know, member placement or adoption, it's a lot easier. I, there's a whole different array of things that happen when it's a family member that you are taking in. Um, you know, a lot of different dynamics. And so, you know, you have a lot of battles. Um, you have a lot of, you know, triumphs. But it definitely today is just, I mean, you know, we can breathe. <laughs> and I've told them many times, like, you're not going anywhere. You know, you're staying here until um, we graduate. You know, who knows where we're going to be in five years. But you know what? We're going to be together. The message I would have to those, if you've ever considered or thought about fostering, um, even if it's just kind of crossed your mind, is that it's possible. And I have had more support um, as a foster parent um, than I would have ever imagined. And yes, it takes a village, but you know, as a single parent as well, um, we have a community that we've built you know, here in San Angelo without even having, you know, other family here. Um, and, you know, it's more than, you know, just the cute things you see on Facebook and, um, you know, the pictures at the end. There's some struggles in there, but 
definitely it's I mean it's 100% worth it and you know she's six and she's ten um, you know if you do the math that's like you know maybe 2,000 days that they've even been around you know and so for the rest of their days I want to give them the best life possible and so you can do that as well as a foster parent um, they just want somewhere awesome to stay and be loved and supported so you can you can do it yeah Congratulations to them. Thank you all for joining me for CVHP News. Don't forget to follow us on social media and download our free app. All you have to do is search Contra Valley homepage in your app store. That's all for right now, but we'll see you right back here tomorrow morning. Have a great Labor Day, everybody.